Under canopies of camouflage, the batteries look out to sea. Besides the protected emplacements are the artillery strong points, all types and calibers of guns. Then the trenches, the barbed wire, the pillboxes. A myriad system of defenses, organized in depth, spiderwebbed along the headlands and the beaches, the valleys and the hills behind. Endless miles of depth traps. Every day that the Allies are preparing for the great offensive, the Nazis warn us they are preparing to meet it. For the offensive to succeed, all this must be weakened. Already Allied squadrons are bombing these positions, blasting the camouflaged hillocks, jarring the aligned gun mounts. Flying fortresses and liberators, Wellingtons and marauders, are dropping huge tonnages of steel and explosives to crush these Nazi-prepared positions. The enemy is well armed, well trained, thoroughly on the alert with the best of modern equipment. It will take tremendous air strength to deal with these obstacles. Against this powerful array of concrete walls and steel guns, only a mightier mass of steel and explosives will avail. Invasion is bound to be costly, but the more overwhelming the assault, the less the cost. The strength of our assault waves begins in our factories at home.